all right what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode and in today's video i am going to be checking out cubo phone tripod so i was looking around on amazon for a handheld tripod for doing some pov style videos um, for when i go out and want to just take some pictures just trying to go ahead and start learning how to enhance or elevate my skills for photography so getting into the product i am looking to see you know what tripod out there that's handheld and supports a variety of mounting your equipment onto this handheld tripod so this right here is a pretty decent sized box. It's really not that big. So I, my apologies that I can't fit it all the way into the camera frame, but let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box and then unbox it. So on the front, we have Cubo phone tripod at the top. On the very bottom, it has a 360 degree rotation. And also for the ball mount, you're able to rotate the equipment to 120 degrees. On the side, we have a little bit more information. You can mount this for your GoPro. Again, as I mentioned, it's a phone holder inside, ball head, and then the tripod. Towards the back, we have lightweight tabletop stand base, 360 degree ball head, one fourth inch screw. Um, not sure why there's two E's there, but uh, yeah, we have the picture of a DSLR camera. So it should be able to hold the weight of a DSLR camera and a small lens. So that's one thing you're gonna have to note. I wouldn't suggest you mounting a heavy lens onto your camera and using this tripod. So right here we have, you're able to mount your phone, tablet, action camera, it's portable, your camera that you're using to film, microphone, is monocular um, and then also you can take selfies with it. Pretty basic and standard things when searching for a tripod that you can do some vlogging with and get some uh, low angle kind of feels and views with this tripod. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox it and check and see what's inside. And of course you get your user's manual so you can review all the features and how to assemble this tripod with the different equipment. Yeah, pretty detailed. Okay, so you get the equipment in two packages. The first small Ziploc pouch, you have your uh, screw for mounting your GoPro. Um, and then this is, of course, where you're gonna be able to screw everything in and have it sit well on the ball mount. So I look forward to using this later and definitely seeing how well this works. So here we have the actual tripod itself. Okay, so pretty, pretty heavy, pretty nice, but it's very, very comfortable. And that's one of the main reasons why I was looking for something that's very comfortable in my hand. I can hold it for, hours if I need to. Um, it's definitely not going to cause any fatigue in my hand or any digging in my skin and just over time feeling uncomfortable and it's just become a tripod I can only use for a short period of time. Now uh, let's work for our way from the top to the bottom of the tripod. So here we have the mounting system. Um, of course you just have your screw right here for mounting your different items on top uh, and this is the ring to adjust the screw on that mount system. So right here you have your lock for locking in the position that you want for your tripod. And it is plastic as well, by the way, this is all made of plastic, but still feel really like decent quality. So right here we have this piece that is detachable. All you have to do is unscrew it with a little bit of Cubo branding right here on the front. And this part comes apart uh, for even a lower view. This is just also a lock. So A will be unlock, I believe, and B will be to lock it in place. And moving down towards the leg, you have a three leg system here. It should be fairly sturdy. Um, the legs 
are not flimsy at all. They are fairly stiff, right in the middle of loose and stiff. That way you won't have too much trouble with adjusting this, but you won't also have to worry about your view that you chose to fall. Now I have seen some people review this on Amazon and some people mentioned that it kind of slips and you know, just kind of loses balance, I believe, uh, according to maybe how they have it standing. So hopefully I don't have any trouble with that. But yeah, for overall, I think this is going to be pretty nice. On the sides here, you have these red buttons. At the bottom, you have the red rubber tips for making sure the legs do not move and stay still and sturdy. They're pretty thin. Um, and I can see how on a slippery surface, this could slide just a tad. You can probably, you know, add something. I've seen people uh, rid this up just a tad, just so it stay in place because it's just a great tripod for the price. And also you get in this Ziploc pouch is the phone holder. Okay, so here it is and it is plastic. So on the inside, you have these rubber grips for your phone. So make sure you get a nice good grip on here. And it also expands. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then on the back, you have your screwing mount so you can mount it onto the tripod. So something else I also wanted to know is not the best quality. You're not getting too much of a premium metal clamp with this. So it's gonna, you're gonna hear like maybe some scratches when you're expanding it. So yeah, that's just something to know in case you may be wondering over time, will it crack or will it break? Uh, yeah, that's just maybe something to consider. And also you do have a little bit of Cubo branding on the side. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble the phone holder to the tripod because that's mainly what I'm gonna be using this for. Okay, so here's the tripod assembled with the phone holder. Now, I screw the phone holder from the bottom to the tripod. Um, that way I can get the point of view that I'm gonna be holding this at. And you can also mount this phone holder from the bottom. So if you want to have that selfie view for vlogging, you can definitely assemble it that way and then do the flip up motion with the phone holder so you can see yourself recording on your phone. So that's pretty much gonna be it. Not too difficult to assemble, very, very easy. You shouldn't have any issues with assembling this. So here is my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus mounted on the tripod and just keep in mind this is a large phone so your phone may not be as big where it's having to be a little off center here so i'm not sure if you're able to tell i have more of the phone to the left versus the right however i won't be using this phone and particularly i will be using my iphone 10r to uh, do the testing and the filming of it. But this is just for demonstration to give you an idea of how you will have the phone sitting in the phone holder on the tripod. So another thing to note is for this locking ring right here, this is for screwing on the phone holder or whatever equipment you're mounting onto the tripod. Make sure that this is pretty tight because it can loosen up a little bit. As you can see, like it's not much effort to initiate the unscrewing of the equipment from the tripod. It shouldn't be a, an issue with using this tripod, um, but yeah, that's just something for you to consider. Also, another tip is to make sure that the phone is pushed all the way to the back of the phone holder. You wanna make sure it is secured and not tilted and leaning forward and possibly coming out and then you just really don't want that. That's gonna be a bad situation. But yeah, let's go ahead and test this out and see how well it works. So here I am using this tripod handheld. And so you will see me moving around, testing it out, seeing how smooth it is. However, it's not a gimbal, so you won't get smooth footage, but it is a good test to see how well it fits in the hand while you're using it for like maybe some point of view 
videos so yeah you may see a little shakage here and there so here i have been holding the tripod for about five minutes but throughout the walk i noticed it was very comfortable and easy to use while i was taking pictures with my camera All right, you guys, so we are back and I hope you enjoyed that walk while I was testing this handheld phone tripod um, just as much as I did. Let me tell you something, it is hot outside, but I love the heat and I like to enjoy that. Okay, so first thing is it is super comfortable in the hand. Like I feel like I can hold this all day with no issues. Main thing it is for me, while it's in my palm, I don't feel like my hands will sweat. So the material that was used, um, like I said, it's plastic. It keeps my hand fairly dry. Definitely if you have a dry palm, this will work for you. And if you have uh, sensitive palms where you create, where you perspire in your hand quite a bit, this is gonna be good. Like it works fairly well. Another thing to note is to make sure when you're holding it by the lids, um, that you don't have any type of pulling or you kind of sling the tripod itself uh, because the lids will move down and that's something I noticed. So for an example, like if you're holding it, you can move the lid with the finger. So in the back of the lids, you can see how the levels are not that sharp for stoppage. So that's another thing to note as well. And that's probably why you could possibly have some issues um, depending on how well you secure the legs when you're putting it in standing mode. So yeah, the button's definitely gonna allow the legs to go back up, but you can easily pull them down. So yeah, that's just to keep in mind. Uh, for the most part, while I was testing it out, walking around, I noticed that uh, this definitely held my phone securely. I use my iPhone XR with a speaking case on there. I do recommend you using a case just for protection. However, you should be able to grip your phone if you decide not to use a case or you're just not a case person. The grips on the inside will work well. As I moved the tripod around and I gave it some shakage, I was able to uh, see that the phone did not move whatsoever. So these grips are pretty strong and the clamp itself is strong as well. So I would definitely, definitely give this clamp a thumbs up. Um, overall, it just held my phone in place and it didn't slide one bit while I was uh, recording. Okay, so let's talk about the price. So currently this is listed on Amazon for $22 at the time of this video. And for that price, I really, can't complain at all about this. I really think this is a great product, a great tripod for the price and all the other equipments that you get to mount your filming gear. And just for that, that's why I decided to pick this one up and give it a try. So as of now, I'm really, really impressed with this tripod. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for this tripod. If you wanna see another video with me using my uh, camera, I can definitely make a video for you on that to see how it mounts. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That will really help support my channel and grow my channel along with sharing this video if you feel like this is great content and very helpful. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.